Good morning everybody. Welcome to a brand new vlog. We are starting off the vlog with a goodie. We're currently on our way to Cheltenham. So guess what's coming? But we are heading over to the Holland Cooper head offices for a photo shoot for my next collection that's coming up. I know I've mentioned this before and I'm, I'm still not going to be able to show you this footage, unfortunately, until in a few months time. But today is the actual day of the photo shoot because obviously we need time to edit everything, get all of the assets together and get it ready for in a few months. But these days are always so much fun. The entire Holland Cooper team, their hair, makeup, their photographer Bradley. So it should be a really, really good day. We set off quite early. Obviously Cheltenham isn't that near to us. So we set off nice and early to get here and we're almost there now. Well, 30 minutes. 30 more minutes. But today we brought the Range Rover. And obviously we've just recently got the new car, but this is the car that we love for doing like super longer, like longer distances where we just want to be like super comfortable. And yeah, I am still loving this car. I've had a few people ask me about it in DMs. Like, I know you've got this new car. Have you therefore, you know, do you not have the Range Rover anymore, the new range? And we do, we have, this is technically at the moment our second car. And yeah, we, we just love it. I'll show as much as I can of the day. Let me reassure you. This next collection is going to blow you away. It is so fantastic. I'm, I can't wait. Hi, so I'm just getting my makeup done by the lovely Katie. And, <laughs> and what's really, really wonderful actually is that the Clay de Peau team has sent over like my favourite foundation shades and things for us to use so I can get my glowy base. How great is that? So yeah, we're just going to do a full face. My usual vibe, because obviously we want me to look like me in the photos, with it being like my capsule wardrobe vibe. And then we're going to do a mermaid wave, I think as well. So yeah, it'll be very much my usual style. And then with this incredible collection, so can't wait. My needy prince, my needy prince, aren't you? Ten years. Can't be away for a mum for two minutes. You get yourself all cosy there again. Am I looking super glowy? I can't see yet. Very glowy. Am I? Have you seen the collection yet? No. Have you not seen it? If you have a look up on the wall, it's, it's all been shot already. Looks amazing. You can't show it on camera. So Alex is gonna is shooting things for you guys to watch for this vlog. In fact, I wonder, maybe I'll speak to the team and see if we can show like one or two pieces now as like a run up thing. Look at this fabulous mermaid wave. All done with a with a hair straightener as well. Looks amazing. Mm -mm. It's gonna do a little bit more lipstick, I think. And maybe a little bit more liner. Do you reckon I need anything else for makeup? To make me more me or no? I think it's looking gorgeous. Beautiful. Almost ready. How beautiful is this outfit? Wait, can you see it? I don't know. Maybe like a little. Like, ooh. I know I'm scared. You show it too much. Little V M emblem. Um, so we're just finishing up the video shots of the first outfit and we've been wearing the dress with knitwear and the blazer. Finishing up the video shots from, it's for Ecom isn't it? Or is it, yeah, for Ecom. So almost up to the second look now. Okay, um, we're on to look two. The lower area of me <laughs> is one of my favorite pieces and I think you're all gonna go absolutely insane about this and what goes with it. Not saying more than that. However, this piece of knitwear that you're looking at is just the most like versatile piece, which is kind of how I love this collection. It, everything goes with every other piece. But yeah, on to look number two. <laughs> okay, it's quite late in the day. It's getting like four o'clock. We need to like hurry up. We've got three more looks to shoot. So on to the next look. It kind of incorporates pieces from the second look, but styling them up slightly differently. Okay guys, I thought I'd do a little check-in. I know that Alex is doing a lot of filming, but sometimes it's nice just to say hello. I am just waiting to do a little video shoot with this headscarf. Show a little bit more of this because I can't really hide it. It looks so fantastic. This is like a headscarf specifically for my collection in the colours that I absolutely adore. It's just super neutral and beautiful, but it has the most gorgeous pattern. It's just so like luxurious and it feels incredible in silk. 
and we've paired it with this full outfit and it just looks so killer. It is super cool. Namrata is just filming in here with her look. It's also amazing to see obviously other people and other models in the outfits and just to actually see them like come to life. It's really, really exciting. Everything looks honestly like amazing. <laughs> Okay, we're on to outfit number five and these are two pieces I'm so excited about because they are like staples in my own wardrobe. They're like classics that you guys probably know me for and I wear all the time and I've been so, so excited about. So we kind of pair them together as like a really classic Victoria look. And then with the boots, so, so good with it. This will probably give away a little bit of what is on my bottom half, but that would be fabulous. I love that Oh, one. I love that yeah. one. Should I press up? Yeah, <laughs> Oh great! These were gorgeous. I thought yeah. these worked really well. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, these are lovely. So nice. I think that was give that one. I think that was my favourite. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. An end to a fantastic day. We've uh, just finished up the shoot. We managed to get all of the pieces shot. Apart from obviously a few variations in colour, there are a number of pieces that we've created in a couple of different colourways. And therefore it would have meant I had like 13 looks if I shot everything separately. Coat. Uh, and shot everything else and I'm just thrilled to bits. All the pieces look so fantastic. I uh, just can't wait for you to see them. Um, anyway, so we just checked in at number 131 in Cheltenham, which is Jade Holland Cooper's hotel with her husband, Julian. Just the most fantastic hotel. This is our absolutely beautiful room. I say it every time, but the aesthetics. It does look very familiar. This is where I got my inspo from. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they have the catch pole and rye bath tubs in here. And it's exactly where I got, I got my inspo from. This is the smaller size to ours. Oh, is it? We have a slightly longer it's tarnished one. tarnished as well. Would ours go that yeah, colour? No, or no. They bite that like Yeah, that. you get it like that. It's in like the burnished brass. It's cool. Whereas we went for the shiny. It's amazing, isn't it? The radiators look similar Yeah, they too. look similar to our cast rods. In fact, I won't be surprised if they are cast rods, you know. They look just like them. How, how so lovely. Um, yeah, it's such a fantastic room. Shower. Shower and everything else. It's just... So, so great. So yeah, let's just need to get myself all ready now for our, for our meal this evening. Good morning, everybody. I don't think I showed you last night. After we came back here, checked in and went for a gorgeous meal, I had like a wonderful bath. Did you have a bath last night? Me too. I just figured I wanted a really nice bath. Alex had even gone to sleep by the time I got out of the bath. <sighs> it was so nice. Had a wonderful little bath in the room and then got to sleep. I had a fantastic sleep, actually. Thrown on a really fresh face, fresh face of makeup. We're just going to go have some breakfast at 131. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Just have like a nice smoothie, maybe like an avo toast or something. Just something lovely and fresh and light before we get home for the day. Also, I've completely forgotten to show you the fact that I had all my hair done? Did I even mention that in any part of the vlog that I was going to get my hair done? So the reason my hair's looking so bright and so fresh and so blonde um, and wonderful again, I had my I had my hair done like two days ago. I went to see Larry King. I had Harriet Muldoon do my colour, like super fresh. I wanted to keep my kind of my natural mousy roots and then gradient them into the blonde, but I wanted to be blonder, I wanted to be fresher, like whiter blonde. So Harriet put lots of like balayage, I think, through with bleach just to really enhance these and brighten them all up again. So it's looking really bright, but it's still got this like nicely rubbed in kind of root look, which I really, really like. Absolutely love it. I think it's just great, so fresh. And then on the shoot yesterday, James used a straightener to make this this wave. So it's looking really, really nice. I really like it. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Wow. This looks fantastic. So you've got the kedgeri. That looks great, yeah. babe. I've got hot smoked salmon with avo and on, on toast with eggs and we're also just admiring all the little birds that are just flying around inside of here living their best life. So today is Saturday, we have some friends coming over, we're having a dinner party, a bit of a Mediterranean dinner party and they're going to be here in about an hour or so and so I've just been getting myself ready for the night. Um, so this is my makeup face of the night. Clay de Peau foundation, Anastasia Beverly Hills brows and bronzer and uh, Clay de Peau blush in number four. Vive Eyeshadow, Victoria Beckham, Starlight, The Inners. That's, oh, and Nars All Yours all over my lips. For my outfit, I'm wearing this. You can't really see that, the light's so terrible. But um, this is a really beautiful, like, burgundy dress. It's in almost that kind of thick, elasticated, almost like scoobery, not quite scoobery material. And it goes down into a pleat 
gorgeous pleated skirt and I will be wearing it with heels. I've currently got my socks, I've currently got my socks back on because um, I'm going to go downstairs and start cooking and I need some socks on but I will be wearing heels. Bulgur earrings. I'm also wearing um, my beautiful studs from the new Edge of Ember gold and diamonds collection and then I have a whole Bulgari bangle stack and then a Valentino belt and that's like tonight's look. But I have a few things I'd really like to show you. I did a little bit of shopping on the net porte sale and got a few great things. The only annoying thing now is that everything I bought, unfortunately, apart from, apart from every one thing, everything is now not in sale anymore. Really, really annoying. Um, I didn't think it would be such a short sale. But anyway, so I got myself these sunnies. Oh, I sell black sunnies. I love the shape so much. I love this kind of shape. On me, I've got another pair of glasses kind of similar, but not YSL. So I thought these were so cool. And again, they were down like 40% off, which is crazy that they're now back to full price. So I managed to sneak in with this little purchase. So I got myself those. And then I've got myself a few other little clothing bits that I'd love your opinion on actually, because I'm gonna have to get undressed out of my, my outfit for tonight, but it'll take me two minutes to get back redressed, I'm sure. But I'd love your opinion on some of these things. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put on a bodysuit quickly and then I can show you these trousers and see what you think. Okay, these are the first pair of trousers. Again, these were like 40, maybe even 50% off actually, they're from the row. And I think these are still actually on sale. But the difference with these to my other trousers, they're not as high as usual, my trousers are up here. So that's the one thing to kind of get used to with these. But... Now, like, this is why I wanted to try it on with a bodysuit, because I knew as soon as I tried it on with a bodysuit, I would like it, I knew it. Everything goes so well with a bodysuit, doesn't it? They're, they're a really cool pair of trousers, they're a gorgeous thickness and feel, like, super luxurious, you can tell the quality. And I kind of love the pleats and the way they hang in this really uh, relaxed style. Do you know what, I almost kind of want to put these with some sneakers, to see how that would look. No, I think sneakers are too fat for them. I think they need something, because they're already wide leg, they need something sleek at the bottom to give that contrast of shape. So let's go with my favorite, um, most worn pair of shoes ever, the Saint Laurent's. Just because I feel these are gonna be super light with them. Yeah, this is, this is, this is really beautiful actually, I think. Now, now I really, really like them. Also what's really nice, you may not be able to see, but on the actual, like, around here this isn't a satin so it slightly changes between this more matte fabric to the beautiful satin so yeah what do you think the more i'm looking at them with you guys the more i'm really loving these and like i said they were like 40 50 percent off so they're really really good saving i think i might keep these but let me know your thoughts right i've got another pair of trousers these are kind of completely different these are more of a thick like felt wool and they're much more high-waisted. The back has this almost tuck-style trouser top. They need a little bit of steam, they're that kind of fabric. They're, they are very like felted. These are much more of an affordable trouser as well, by the way. Tell you what, let me move you this way. I can stand a bit further back. But again, they have, because of the fabric style, they have a really gorgeous drape to these. Um, they're comfortable, like super comfortable. Oh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Do I really need both? Probably not. I mean, I know you always need good trousers, but do I need both of these? They're completely different though. These are so much longer. And then again, let's put them on with the heels to give them the test. Oh, I mean, look at that length though. Can you see the length with the heels? Perfectly skims just above the floor. So it's a really fantastic length actually on me. Let's add a little belt to this. Just like pull it in. But yeah, I'm really liking these now. I might now wear this tonight, I really like it. I think this looks really, really cool actually. Then I bought the most fantastic jumper now. I wore it all day yesterday, so it's now covered in bow. But let me show you this. <clears throat> this wasn't in sale, but I think it's so fabulous. It's super thick fabric. I have to get a lint rubber on this. Of course, it doesn't have the roll neck, so you'll have to try and imagine this down the real neck a little bit so it's just a, a round neck jumper but it's super thick yeah with the bodysuit on so sell around across the front 
really cool like front hoodie pocket on this um, and then honestly the fabric is just so thick it's like three layers thick and then a, like a crew neck jumper I love it I think this is just so cool I'll wear this all the time yeah I'm super pleased with it I'll obviously link all this down below right the final thing I picked up and again I'm not too sure if this was in sale or not I'm not too sure I think I just saw it on the new in and just really really liked it this dress is like slinky, roll neck, sleeveless dress. Um, kind of a bit of a ribbing on the fabric. It just all those like really classic, like essentials in the wardrobe, like slot on each side, just really flattering and figure hugging. I love the high neck. It fits really, really nicely. You know, I think it's just one of those that you'll just keep as like an essential in the closet. My eyebrow have gone astray. I did also buy a few other things by the way. So I also bought these earrings as well. These little Valentinos with pearls. Again, ooh, ooh. <coughs> again I think they were in sale when I got them. They're no longer in sale but I still think that they're a, a lovely price for like a costume jewellery piece like this. I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. In fact maybe I'll change those for tonight. Yeah, so I think all in all, a good little set of things that I've bought, but let me think, no, let me know what you think. But now I'm questioning my choices for tonight, and I think because it is quite cold, wearing the dress with no sleeves might be a bit chilly down in the kitchen. So actually, I might change, go with those felt trousers, might be quite cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the swap. Good morning, happy Sunday everybody. After a fantastic evening last night with our good friends, we had two sets of couples come round and we had such a fantastic dinner party night. The food went down a treat, I was really pleased. I made my lemon, spinach, pineapple and faux feta pasta. Went down an absolute treat, so I was really pleased. And so they left this morning, leaving us with a nice free full Sunday, which I always love and appreciate. I have been somewhat inspired. <laughs> Somewhat, I mean, I don't even know what by, but anyway, I am determined today to make a reel of 32 winter outfits. And I'm going to put them to the beat of the White Lotus theme tune. I just love peppermint tea. Because at the moment, I can't get it out of my head. No, the <laughs> That song. Um, if you've not watched White Lotus, by the way, I think it's on Sky, but it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's the most fantastic show. Me and Alex binged both season one and then season two back to back. We just absolutely loved it. And Alex is a very tough critic when it comes to shows, so he loved it too. So in anyone in a couple, you'll both really enjoy it. It's such a fantastic show, but that theme tune has been stuck in my head. So I thought, you know what, I wanna do, it's got a really good like beat. I wanna do like a 32 winter outfits to the beat so that I just, I'm stood in the same place and I change, change, change. That's what I wanna do. I haven't seen anyone else do this. It's just come to my mind, I wanna do it. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do 32 outfits. But equally, I kind of want this to be almost like my Rolodex of winter outfits that I can refer back to. And I'm going to try and take a picture of every single one and get every single outfit uploaded to my like to know it profile as well. So each and every outfit is gonna be shoppable. <sighs> I mean. Rebecca's gonna love when I um, ask her to help me with that, but I just thought it might be quite useful and then my entire winter wardrobe then is uploaded and I have, I can go through each pitch and be like, today I wanna wear that, today I wanna wear that and it'll be a like, super easy inspo. That's the idea today, to do that. So I've, um, I've, got, <laughs> I've got myself a nice little pile of fresh watermelon to nibble at. I'm currently in the process of um, getting all of the fluff off of these trousers. I wore those felt trousers last night that I showed you. Love them, I got some compliments on them, but they pick up Bose fur like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah, I've been lint rolling these for 10 minutes already and still I haven't finished. I'm going to also get a laptop, I think, and play and watch some Harry Potter. I'm still trying to get through it, guys. I'm still trying, I'm on the third one. It's getting better. It's, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's good, it's good. And it's only getting better as each one goes on. So I'm gonna put that on and let's just leave the camera rolling and just change, 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 change 32 times. So let's see how long this takes me. Wish me luck. I thought I would bring you along though and show you a lot of it too and I'll clip this up too. And I might even put it to the, oh no, I can't put the White Lotus soundtrack on here or else I'd get copyrighted. Someone's being a growly bear downstairs. Yeah, that's the idea, so. Let's just get on with it, hey! <laughs> right, let's do this then. Winter outfits, okay? Tory Birch white boots, Victoria Beckham leggings, my new Saint Laurent black jumper, 
and then my amazing Colin Cooper coat over top. By the way, I won't be talking through every single outfit. I don't have, I don't have 48 hours to make this video. Let's do it. Okay. Done. <laughs> it takes like two seconds to get the clip, but obviously it's going to take me a really long time to do this, but let's just keep going. And also tidying as I go, or else later, the cleanup will be absolutely horrific. Far quicker if I just do it after each and every outfit. That's what I'm doing. So, Kate Top, Stella McCartney, black faux leather trousers. I'm gonna go with heels. I'm thinking half is difficult. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Off we go. Wait, you know, I have seen this one. I want a prisoner of Azkaban, I think. Is that fourth? Harry Potter. So guys, now, now that we're watching Harry Potter, I can't really leave the sound on, so I'll just keep I'll just keep whizzing through my outfits. And they'll all be linked soon, at least, hopefully, on um, my Like to Know it profile or on my or in the photo.com. I love this outfit. This is kind of like me finding out my I've got like new outfits in my closet. So these are the trousers that I'm thinking of keeping. I think after this outfit I'm gonna keep them so I can take the tags off. But these are the trousers from the row that I got in the sale, which was like 50% off. I put them with some aqua Zura boots so that they obviously because these are so wide leg it needs a very slim boot to contrast against it. Tucked with a Maison Marcella bodysuit tucked in which it was actually like a navy blue which always throws my eyes a bit, but I think it's fine with the colours. A Versace belt and then a Jacquemus little blazer again, because again with the wide leg, it needs to be juxtaposed against something that's slender on top. So it all kind of pulls in. And then obviously I would then throw like a big coat over the top, but I'm going between doing big coats and little coats for this video, just because with big coats, it kind of hides. Sorry, I completely, I got completely caught off really because my camera died, because I'll say I'm recording a lot today. Yeah, I think in that last clip I was just saying, probably saying how much I liked that outfit and how much it worked or something like that. Anyway, I'm now at about outfit 25 of 32. I'm doing 32 because that's how many beats there are in the chorus of the song. And I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this though. I'm an hour into the Goblet of Fire and I'm also like discovering lots of different outfits so it's kind of like a really nice way to discover my own wardrobe and like take time to do that and like find new outfits so I'm just putting a few things together like this is a pair of Dior, Dior boots, like knee high boots, self portrait skirt and Victoria Beckham shirt so I'm just kind of trying to work out a few new combinations just like taking favourite things putting them with other things, trying to make the shapes flattering. I've also pretty much lost light in this room now, which is a shame, so I kind of need to hurry up. Yes, yeah, this, this is quite cool. This black silk, lily silk skirt instead. Yes, let's do that. Yes, this is better. This is much better. Obviously not on a, free, not on a really freezing cold, winter's day but on a cold day it'll still be fine because I've got I can also just put tights under this oh this is now this is nice so this is the beauty of doing these kind of videos now I've just found a cool new outfit style yeah silky skirt shirt tucked in I mean this would look great as well just with like a black bodysuit too and then the boots yeah it's cute I'll do a couple of dresses finish off and then I think I am good. Right, I'm going to go for this new reformation dress and if I love it with this outfit then I shall keep it. So let's see. Fendi skirt, Jean Vito Rossi nude boots and then this beautiful 
cashmere. It's like almost like a pinky cream. Call it from Sunspell. I'm gonna leave it untucked. I think it looks kind of nice just over it as a layer instead. So yeah, this is cute. Little crease, but I'm gonna live. that'll be it. I mean there's so, so many more that I haven't done that I feel like I should have done but obviously I've got a lot of beautiful clothes which is wonderful but it, this has just helped me realise what I've got. Right, last but not least, so Fendi, my Fendi roll neck jumper over some black philosophy shorts. I realise they're quite short but I could just wear tights, I'm not going there right now, but just wear tights in between. And then my red boots, and over the top this beautiful Hon Cooper jacket. Cool, let's do it. Final look, baby. What? Uh, let's use a Chanel bag. And then we'll be done. It's now five o'clock. I started this at like half past one. Oh, dedication to this reel. This better do well. Guys, if you're watching this, please go find this reel and like it and comment and share it with your friends and dogs. <laughs> because this took me so much time. Okay, love you for it. Thank you. We're done. We are <laughs> done. 32 outfits. In fact, I think I've put a few more in there. So we've done it.